Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we play Chandler. And um, uh, what I'm going to do in this episode is I want to go into the Blue Castle, right? So if we look at the map, the Blue Castle is over here. So in my way towards the Blue Castle, I think I'm going to save this city here, Eloran Hole, Eloran Hole, however you pronounce it. I'm going to try to save that as well. And of course, go into the Blue Castle. Um, now, I've been kind of looking at my card collection because in the blue castle we've got that horrible enchantment that's in play, right? That switches all the permanents all the time. It's really not nice. So, I want to build a white deck. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of white creatures. I didn't know this. So, I've been kind of building here and I'm thinking maybe I need to put in a lot of artifacts. So, I mean, I've got the scimitars. I mean, it's not ideal, but I do have one archaeologist, so that's kind of cool. I've got some Onulets for life gain. I'm saying his golem is okay. You can play the Mox, of course, which is always good. I've got a trike. It's not ideal, you know. I don't really have the cards that I want to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go with. My normal deck for now and I'm kind of gonna first go to that area and when I'm at the blue castle I'm just kind of gonna you know reassess and maybe I can you know maybe I can find some useful white cards along the way who knows let's buy some food and uh, on we go Ooh, ring of the guardian maybe I need to go to travel south I'm a nexus steading okay so where's that travel south I'm a nexus steading You know what? Let's go. Let's go and get that first. Let's go to Amanix's steading first. See if we can get that ring. Ooh, mana hold. Yes, please. Strip mine. Yes, please. COP red. Morale could be useful. No, we don't need any white amulets. We're gonna go down. Okay, let's duel the winged stallion. Play first, please. Mm -hmm. Start the duel. So many lands. Look at that. Ghost ship, control magic, counter spell, three swamps, and an island. So, really need to find some more islands if I want to make this work. Okay, City of Brass. Not too shabby. Now get counter magic up. There we go. Sangir in hand. Would be nice to find like a dark ritual. We can get that Sangir out early. Next turn I can play Ghost Ship. Which is kind of nice. Ghost Ship is, is really good by the way. Ooh, the Stallion is discarding cards. Wow. Lucky me. Let's play it out. We're going to make a blue with the City of Brass. Oh, counter magic. Dang it. Oh, that's too bad. At least he now spent two counter spells already, right? Because he uh, discarded another one earlier. So I guess that's kind of good. Let's go for the same gear. Hopefully it works. Yay, no counter magic. Next turn I can play the trike. Ooh, the stallion loses. Let's first attack. First attack, see what he does. There we go. Play the trike. Let's try to get this done as quickly as possible. Hopefully I can find some Sarah Angels today for my white deck. Oh wow, that's awesome. And use the trike straight away. Underground Sea. I could, maybe I should have kept it and played my um, Control Magic actually on the uh, Phantasmal Forces. That would have been better, because then, would no, he wouldn't be dead already. Although, oh man, I'm forgetting my factory. Could have used my factory here. Yes, yeah, so if I played that a little bit different, he could have died already. But hey, it is what it is. Life tap. Um, I got no green. Go for it. 
Let's just attack and call it a match. There we go. There we go. Wow, so many cards. Devouring Deep. Such a funny card. Three mana for a 1-2 creature with Island Walk. Dang it. But I'll take it. Take the cards. Ooh, get an amulet. That's kind of nice. Okay, buy cards. Forests. You know, I can buy a forest. I don't think I have that many forests. Take this message west to my brother and he will reward you with a mana link. Ooh, that is good. The steading. Mm, then I have to go back up again though. But I do get a mana link. Okay, I'll accept the quest because I really want that mana link. Um, so I gotta go up. Leave the village. Accept tribute, great. Just give me 150 gold. Hey, trade black amulets for green cards. No, thank you. We got a lot of black cards. Ebony horse. Okay, I'm gonna go south. Let's go south. Duel the Sandawa Shaman. I think how more the more that I duel these guys, the more that I win. They're gonna just give me a tribute, which is what I, what I want. So just gonna duel them. I'm not gonna pay any gold. Let's see what I have: Dark Ritual, Counter Spell, Island, Time Walk, Swamp, Mahamoti, and a Blue Elemental Blast. Okay, that's pretty good. It's gonna go with Island, and then hopefully next turn I can go Swamp, Time Walk, or maybe I'm gonna draw something that I can play out with my Dark Ritual. Hmm. I'm gonna go time walk and hopefully I can draw like a second um, second island. I can play out and then I have counter magic up. That's what I'm going for. Okay, a swamp, not great. I'm still playing with my blue elemental blasts, by the way. I need to take those out. That is not smart. Um, underground sea. I think I can go ritual and then I can play uh, Mahamodi Jin. So let's do that. Let's go Papa Modi. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay, I've got Dark Ritual, Control Magic. Let's just attack. There we go. Oh man, he's got a discard. I'm quite lucky with these games so far. Again, an opponent that has to discard. I'm just gonna keep attacking with this. It's gonna keep counter magic up and kill him. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, man, take the cards. Oh, I gotta start selling stuff. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's start selling stuff. Trade green amulets for any creatures. If you combine crumble with onulet, you can gain five life by using crumble. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yes. Okay, man, I'll buy it. Oh wait, I should. I need to stop buying stuff because I my my spells. I gotta start selling things. Okay, let's um. Let's see if we have anything that we just have a multiples of or like unplayable cards. Um, yeah, Barbary Apes, for example. I don't know. I'm gonna sell it. And I'm not looking at price at the moment. I just wanna sell cards I'm not gonna use anyway. Battering Ram could be useful. In a strange universe. Boomerang, Castle, the COPs I wanna keep. Hmm, this is tough selling stuff. Devouring Deep. I feel like I can sell the Devouring Deep. I'm never going to use that. Even though it's got Island Walk, it's unblockable, but still, you know, when are you going to play that? Death Lace, I feel like I could sell one. Mm, Disenchant, I can. No, I want to keep because if I lose a Disenchant, I want to have one. Um, feedback, I can sell. What else do we have to sell? Wait, I think I saw something with seven. Oh yeah, forests. Four spikes. Okay, let's sell two four spikes. Go 
board. I need to take those blue elemental blasts out of my deck. Four hurricanes. Wow, I don't need four. I just I just bought one, didn't I? I'm just gonna sell one again. What do I have that's unplayable? Mana Clash is so funny, I gotta play that. Mana Short, cool, I need to do something with that. Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, Mind Twists. Yeah, I mean the War Machine is, is unplayable, unfortunately. I wish there was like a better overview of all the, all the cards, but it is what it is. Urza's Tower, I wanna keep that because I'm gonna make a deck with it. Warp artifact, so many. Let's sell all three, I'm not gonna play those. Okay, I sold some stuff, so that's good. Um, I need to go down, right? I gotta go to that. Oh, and I can actually save a Lauren Haven on my way down, that's not too bad. Uh, let's do that. Let's go back to the deck though, because I kicked stuff out. Uh, what to put in. Okay, let's go for blue. I could go Phantasmal Forces. That's a good card. Oh, Psionic Blast. I could put in there. Let's do that. Psionic Blast. Psionic Blast. Do I have any other cards that are interesting? Um, check out what do I have in black. Already have four royals. It's difficult, you know. Like, what do you put in? The deck's pretty complete as is. Um, I can play a sinkhole. All right. Doesn't really fit the deck, does it? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play with Lord of the Pit again, just because it's a cool card. It's gonna do it. Lord of the Pit, 59. And I'm gonna play with the Cabo Ghoul. Also, same reason, it's a cool card. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go down. I need to go to the steading. Shapeshifter attacking Celestial Spire. Oh, that's all the way up there. I didn't know the Red Wizard was still active. I thought I beat the Red Wizard. Okay. Buy cards. If you combine Marsh Viper with Thomas's Wand. Oh, sweet. You can make a poison deck. I like it. I'm gonna buy the channel. Channel's a good card. East, Cold Snap Tower. Where is that? Don't see it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Eleanor Haven. I'm gonna try to free Eleanor Haven. Let's do it. Let's kick some ass. My auntie, duel the creature. Here we go, people. Okay, the Centaur Shaman can start. Oh, he's starting with the hippie, really? What? That's insane, and he's taking my island? Oh man, that's bad. Why is he starting with a hypnotic specter? That is ridiculous. Um, Wow, turn a hippie against me? This is bad. What did he, what did he play with the dark ritual? Nothing. Oh, cursed land. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. I'm so dying. Let's do another time walk. Why not? Oh, this is so bad. Oh, no. I'm so losing. 
Oh, this is horrible. Jeez. Contract from below? Should I do that? I mean, I'm on eight. I'm losing. You know what? F it. I'm going to do it. Oh, man. Um, What to do here? I could do... There's nothing I can do, really, is there? I do have a Psionic Blast, but I can't play it out yet. I could go Island and, you know, hopefully, I've got Counter Magic up. Hopefully, with the Spectre, he's not going to take out my Psionic. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is going to be tough. I'm just going to counter it. Yeah, I know, I'm going to take a damage. Uh, what's the Psionic Blast? Oh man, like I can strip the forest. Uh, oh wait, I gotta strip my own land, I feel. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, wow. I'm in such a bad shape. I'm in such a bad shape. I can play contract from below, take another turn. I mean, you know, get a new hand. I have to do it. such a bad shape okay um i could go underground c and i can take time walk okay this is good i can play factory dance of many or dense scimitar i mean okay this is good i've got a blocker for the dervish uh i'm on three i think he plays hurricane so no 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 oh this game Oh, man. No, 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 no. God, um, should I untap? I'm not going to untap because I'm, I'm going to play. I'm, I'm dead and it doesn't matter what I do. But Oh, man, this is so frustrating. I came back all the way. I was on three people. I like fought my way back into the game and then this happens. Oh, of course, protection from black. That was stupid. But I would have died anyway. It doesn't matter. I lost three cards. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's get back. Let's check our deck. Let's check our deck. Apparently, this is a good opponent. Apparently. Um, let's take out my Lord of the Pit and my Cobble Ghoul. That's, just, that's not working, is it? Um, are there any artifacts that are good? Let's check that out. Do I have any useful artifacts? So I'm playing against this turn one Hypnotic Spectre. Um, I need to put a Swamp back, by the way, I guess. Let's get a Swamp. Maybe I should play Mana Vault, try to get stuff out early. Uh, where is my Swamp? Here are my swamps. Okay, I've got enough of those. Um, you know what I'm going to do? If he plays with a Hypnotic Spectre, I'm going to play Unsummon. I'm just going to Unsummon that turn one Spectre. Do I have Unsummons? I do. How many? Only one. Okay, that's, that's not a lot. Um, do I have Boomerang? I got Boomerangs. You know what? I'm just going to put the boomerangs in there. Whatever. I know it's too blue. It's, it's not ideal, but I'm going to do it. I accept tribute. Um, 210 gold. Let's attack. Duel the creature. Wizard's ante. Play first. Start the duel. Okay, I mean, this is a Vampire Bats. I can deal with the Vampire Bats. That is that is much better than um, what we saw earlier. I mean, that Hypnotic Spectre was brutal. Absolutely brutal. So I've got 18. I've got Time Walk, Psionic Blast, Dark Ritual in hand. That's good. Um... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to strip 
Strip the planes. Why not? Um, that's it. I'm gonna pass. Pass is a turn. Oh, yeah. Sure, he's gonna pump. Take the damage. Dark Ritual, Hypnotic Spectre. I could do that. And then I can take an extra turn as well. Mm, but then I do need to tap the Mana Vault. You know what? I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to take Mana Burn. I know, but I think it's really good because I'm going to attack. Oh, actually, I can use a Boomerang on my Mana Vault. Oh, that's kind of sweet. It's like a forgotten combo. I mean, it's not great, obviously, but it's funny. Anyway, passing the turn. Sure, man, attack me with the... Uh... Mm... Okay, I'm gonna play a Swamp. I'm gonna attack again. I'm gonna play a Mana Volt. I'm gonna pass the turn. He's gonna attack me. I mean, he only has one swamp, you know? I think stripping that planes was a good decision. Nice, and now I've got counter magic, so I'm just gonna keep counter magic up. And pass turn. Take some damage. Gonna play a swamp. Going to attack again. I would love to have more hypnotic specters, by the way. Some more ghost ships would be nice as well. There's the attack. Ooh, he's not pumping it up. Does it mean he's got a spell to play? Drudge Skeletons. I'm gonna counter. I mean, it's not the scariest card in the world, but I mean, at this point, I just wanna counter things away. Try to kill him as fast as I can. Gonna play a Sengir. So next turn I can swing in for six and I can kill him with the Psionic Blast. Although he's probably gonna chump with the Vampire Bats. Exactly, he's, he's keeping that up. He's got a plan. He has a plan. I love it, a counter on Sengir Vampire. I love it. I love when that happens. It makes me feel like I'm a good magic player. Oh, I got a counter on my Sengir. Sweet. Pestilence. Ooh, that's actually a good card, but he doesn't have a lot of mana, so I'm kind of lucky here. Um, yeah, just attack. I don't even need my Psionic Blast. Don't need it. Yeah, people are happy. Let's go in there. Trade green amulets for any fast effects. I don't have a lot of amulets, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm now got to go. I think I've got to go south to east. Why was I going south if I should be going east? Why am I so bad with directions? I mean, it's like I'm horrible. Um, so I need to go east. Why was I going south? I'm so bad at this game, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save that Celestial Spine village. Hey, duel the shapeshifter, absolutely. Duel you, I will, shapeshifter. Start the duel. Um, okay, underground sea, dark ritual, trike, time walk, island, dancing scimitar, Mahamoti. Wow. This is a good hand. I'm going to go island, and then next turn, underground sea. You know, I'm going to take it easy. Not going to use the time walk yet. I want to wait for the right moment. I'll take the damage. Life is a resource. Uh, let's go swamp. Next turn, I can go dark ritual into Mahamoti. I think that's that's my plan. So I'm going to give the shapeshifter one more turn. Oh, I love this. Unstable. On. <laughs> it's so cool. I love the, the nice thing is on same mutation each upkeep uh, gives you minus one minus one counter, but because you put it on your 
uh, factory worker, the factory worker is going to turn back into a land, so the unstable falls off again. So it's again this little synergy that the computer is doing. So it's kind of using the unstable as a giant growth, which I think is pretty cool. So here you see it's falling off because the, the factory is changing back to a land. Um, anyway, let's do this. We're going to go Dark Ritual. And we're going to go Moti. And then I'm going to Time Walk next turn so I can hit him twice. So I can deal 10 points of damage. That's the big plan, at least. I mean, my worry is if she has, like, con control magic, for example, that would be a big problem. Like land control magic. Oh, backfire. For each one damage dealt to you by the Shanda creature, deals one damage to the creature's controller. Wow, that is good. Another one. Oh, man. That is, that is really good. I didn't see that coming. Let's see. Um, don't auto tap. Yeah, because I don't want to take the damage from that card. I'm going to go Dancing Scimitar. And I'm actually not going to attack. Because if I attack, I mean, there's a double backfire on there. Does it mean I take 10 damage if I attack with the Modi? God, I mean, this Modi is kind of unusable now. It's so cool to see a card like backfire again. It's a card you don't see that often. And I'm actually happy that she's casting the Shapeshifter, because I can steal that. Uh, let's steal it. I'm going to attack with the Scimitar. Oh, Hercules Recall. I mean, she is good, because now I've stolen her Shapeshifter, but because she's doing her Hercules Recall, she's going to get it back to her hand. Weird that it doesn't work for my dance at Scimitar, by the way. Or she chose herself, of course, as the target. I don't know. Makes sense. Okay, un the unsummon is quite good, actually, in this scenario, because I can use the unsummon on the Modi. Oh, but what to do, though? What to do? Um... I'm going to attack and then I'm going to play time walk. It's not the best time walk in the world. Like I had other plans for my time walk, but it is what it is. Um, let's go dance scimitar. Let's attack. I mean, scimitar is a good card. It means a one five flyer for four. It's pretty decent. You know, it blocks for days. It keeps me safe. Oh, Apprentice Wizard, such a cool card. Love seeing that card. Apprentice Wizard is really nice, actually, with the Mana Vault. It's a nice little, like, thing. Um, You know what? I'm going to attack with both, and then I'm going to use... I'm going to cast my Mana Vault. Or my... Gosh, maybe Trike. Trike probably kill the Apprentice Wizard, which... I mean, it feels bad to kill such a cool card, but... I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I love Apprentice Wizard, but yeah, it's too tempting. Yeah, I wish the Wizard was maybe two blue to cast, right? Instead of two blue and one. Oh, not the Power Sync. So this is the enchantment, or Power Struggle, I mean. This is the enchantment that, that you're going to see in the, uh, in the blue castle. It's so annoying, because now we're randomly going to change permanence. It's horrible. Um... Wow, that's really bad. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my counters. Swapping Swamp for an island. That's it? Okay, I'm lucky. This sound. Uh, so annoying. Um, What else can I do? I think I'm going to attack. Let's go. I'm gonna play Dark Ritual, and I'm gonna cast my Moti. I know it's risky because he can steal the Moti with the power struggle, but taking the risk. I guess I made a good decision. Um, oh yeah, I gotta click on power struggle, sure. Oh, it still has to swap, okay. This card really. 
got like no idea. Um, this should give me the victory. Take the cards. Duel the Mind Stealer, sure. I'm just dueling a lot of people today, not really making any progress, but hey. That's really part of this game, isn't it? Like you start playing, think I'm gonna go to the castle, I'm gonna free this, I'm gonna do this, and before you know it, you're kind of sucked into all these duels and you're like going nowhere. Uh, let's check out Sanger Vampire, Mana Vault, Counterspell, Osai Vultures. Okay, apparently that's in my deck. I didn't know. Why is that Why is that in my deck? I probably got it somewhere from somebody. Um, I can't even play that out. But what I am going to do is go Mana Vault, pass turn, next turn, play Swamp, use Mana Vault to cast Sanger. I'm going to do it. I mean, this is this is what you want to do, right? It would be cool to, to make a deck with four mana vaults and four dark rituals, and like your focus is just to cast a five drop turn two. It's pretty sweet. Okay, Simbat in the house. I'm gonna take a damage from the mana vault, obviously. Um, I can do that boomerang trick again, which is pretty sweet. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that because then next turn I can cast the trike. I can cast Trike and can kill Simbat. And I need to get rid of that Osai Vulture. Unholy Strength, wow. There goes my plan to kill the Simbat. I guess I could still do it, but I just gotta invest two. Um... Ooh, the Strike is gonna be so good. I gotta invest two counters. This Strike is gonna be so good. Boom, boom. Here we go. We're gonna kill the Willow, and we're gonna kill the Simbat. That's so. That's why Trike is so good. The value, and you still have a one-one creature. You know, you can use it as a chump blocker, or if he doesn't have anything else, you can just attack with it. It's really sweet. Trike is such a good card. I never realized that when when I was a little Timmy, when I was like 11, 12, I put like six mana for a you know a four-four creature that doesn't even fly. Like I thought the card was really bad. Uh, I'm going to take the damage. I'm going to attack. Cool. Again, a counter on the Sengir. Nice. Um, pass turn. Animate that. Mm, that is annoying. Not a, not a big problem, but it is annoying. Oh, unsummon. Okay, so I can unsummon it. And I can... Can I win the game? No, I can't. Since I cannot win, I'm just going to attack. Ooh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Sweet. I could have countered the animate that, right? I'm really not paying attention. <laughs> I need to focus. Focus. Counter. Yes. Oh, man. Sometimes. Hey. Oh, clone is good. I'm going to put clone in my deck. Willow is good. Okay, these are useful cards. Take the cards. You are a mighty sorcerer. You get a duplicate card. Oh, nice. Duplicate card. Sengir Ghost Ship could be one. Oh, he's playing with Time Walks. How many Time Walks do I have? Shall I just get another Time Walk? Why not? Yes. Okay, so I guess I got to sell stuff again. I mean, Alcor's Tomb, I'm never going to use it. I'm never going to use it. I'm selling it. But I don't want to waste time, you know. Oh, I'm going to, what am I going to, what do I have to sell? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that. I mean, I just want to play Magic. Um, 60 cards in a deck. I had a clone, right? Let's try to find a clone. I think clone's useful. Let's put clone in there. Let's take out... Let's take out that unsummon. I'm liking Boomerang, actually. I'm just going to keep Boomerang in. Um, okay. So we got to go east, apparently, because I'm an idiot, so I didn't read it properly. So we're going to go east. We're just going to go down east and, and back to the blue castle again. We're just going to stick to our plan. Oh, yeah. Amanaxis Steading. Okay, I got to remember the names of these places. Amanaxis Steading. Wait, east is this direction, not this direction. I'm so bad at this. I'm um, Forge is here, so I'm gonna go to the forge. 
I really just need just to need to have just a picture of like a compass in front of me to remember <laughs> what direction I need to go. I need to duel the thought invoker. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's do it with duel the thought invoker. Yes. I can lose my brain geyser. That would really be a problem. I've got lots of lands, counterspell Modi. Okay, could be worse. Could be worse, you know. Hopefully she doesn't do anything huge on turn one. That's great. Just gonna play island. Keep counter magic open, pass turn. I've got a Modi, I've got a vampire now, so that's good. Underground sea, pass turn. 25 life, by the way, that's pretty good. Um, no, no, no. No time elemental. That is such an annoying card to play against. Another underground C and pass turn. I'm liking these counter spells. They're fun. Well, fun is not a good word, but they're useful. They're useful. Phantom monster. Um, eh, counter, why not? The thing is, one of the reasons to counter here is because I'm going to tap out for Sengir and I'm going to tap out for Mahamoti. So the next available turn to, to counter again is, is in two turns from now. So that's one of the reasons for me to counter. And I just want to attack and, and, and deal damage instead of, you know, having my opponent having that option. Like now she plays her second Phantom. If I wouldn't have countered, she would have had two Phantoms. Could have, you know, double blocked on the Modi. Uh, sorry, on the, on the Sengir. Okay, we're going to attack here. Okay, she's not blocking. I'm going to play Mahamoti. And then hopefully next turn I can cast Time Walk. And I can attack again. What is she going to do? Nothing. Okay, sure. Nothing is good. Let's swing in. Play time walk. Let's swing in again. And then I can play another Modi. Life is good. Modi number two. Ah, oh, power sink. That is unfortunate. Um, should I play out that land? Why not? That is unfortunate, that power sink. She is attacking. That is, oh, I love this. So she's using Twiddle kind of to give her Phantom Monster Vigilance. That is so cool. Obviously, it would have been better for her to keep Phantom untapped and then use Twiddle to tap down one of my flyers since she could have lived for another turn. But yeah, I still like it. Trade blue amulets for any fast effects. I got a lot of blue amulets. Let's go for it. Um, what am I looking for, though? White swords to plowshares. Yes, I'll trade. Yes, I'll trade. Because I'm still working on that white deck, of course. So that's kind of nice. Buy cards. Hmm, not really cards I need. Begin a quest. Never mind. Um, buy some food. So I'm going east. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go down. The computer really wants me to buy the... Um, to buy to buy that ring. Wow, so many cool blue cards. Phantom Monster, yes please. Should probably play Phantom in my deck, right? Or not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the deck as is. I will reward you with any creature. Wow, defeat the warlock. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Defeat the Warlock. There's the Warlock. Go, Warlock! Oh, it's a Mind Stealer. I thought it was a Warlock. Uh, three White Jewels. Sure. Duel the Sea Dragon. Man, I thought that was the Warlock, but it's the Mind Stealer. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, take a Mulligan or start. You know what? I can start the duel. Because I have a contract from below, so I'm fine. I've got a boomerang, brain geyser, contract. Let's go island and pass. Man, this is so annoying. I thought it was the mind stealer. Oh, phantasmal terrain. Okay. 
Giving me two swamps. Sure, sure. Um, I could go strip mine. Strip one of his islands. You know what? I'm going to go factory. I'm going to play factory. Um, that's it. Oh, okay. Another swamp. <laughs> He's just making swamps. Making swamps and taking names. Um, let's do this. Let's go see what he does to my strip mine. I'm a little worried now. He's got six mana. He could like play out a Mahamoti Jin. Of course, a sea serpent. Yeah, because I'm playing against a serpent. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, like, I love how he's using his phantasmal terrains, but he's making swamps instead of islands. He should have just, you know, kept an island, at least one island on my side. Um, because now I have no island, so he cannot swing in next turn. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I do have control magic, so if it can next turn play my other city of brass, I can steal the sea serpent. That would be sweet. I can try to win against the sea dragon with his own sea serpent. Giant tortoise. I'm loving these theme decks, you know? They're just so cool. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go City of Brass. I'm gonna cast Control Magic. Make a blue. Make a blue. Steal the Serpent. Oh, I've got no islands. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I mean, it's still a good move, I guess, because I'm killing it a 5-5, five, five, but... Oh, man. That is so funny. What I could have done... Because, you know, I could have played Boomerang on one of the islands that has a Phantasmal Terrain on it. And then I could have cast it again, and I would have an island, and then steal the, the Sea Serpent. Oh, man, this game is so funny. This game is so funny. Now he's attacking me with the giant tortoise! Oh, no! Uh, what to do here? Um... Shall I play the boomerang so I have an extra island? Shall I do that? Uh, or shall I play Brain Geyser? I can play a Brain Geyser for a lot. I, I probably should do that. Sure, I'd play it for five. Mm, I've already played out a land, okay. So that card's to discard. Um, dis let's just discard the swamps. I feel like I have enough lands, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something. It's hard to see when you see it like stacked up. Um, I'm gonna go Mamoti Jin, I think. I could go. Do I have enough mana? I don't have enough blue for that, do I? No. I I'm. Trying to find out if it can cast Mahamoti Jin and play Time Walk in the same turn, but I just only have two blue, so that's not an option. Oh, Counterspell. Dang it, that's good. Got a good opponent. I'm on 10. He's going to attack me again with the Tortoise. Oh, man. Let's see, Underground C. Um, I mean, I could control magic to Tortoise, but I, I don't want to, you know? I guess I should, because I've got, I've got two anyway. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Boomerang. I'm gonna Boomerang. Select a permanent. Um, how how do I know what this was before? How can I tell which which is which? Um, I'm just gonna select. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I've got an island back in my hand. That was kind of the idea. Um, let's play time walk, and then I can play the island. Shall I go? No, it's tempting to contract right now and start the turn with the new hand. I think that's probably the best thing to do.
I mean, look at my life total. I'm on seven. I'm hurting myself so much with those uh, uh, with those um, City of Brasses. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I could play a ritual. No, I'm not going to do that. No, then I cannot play out Singer. Okay, I'm just going to take my extra turn. Let's go with these cards. Don't auto tap and don't auto tap because I'm, I'm going to kill myself, you know, which is, which is obviously bad. Um, shall I just do trike? Can I play Sengir without taking damage? I can. Let's do that. And then I can still have counter magic open. So I think that's best probably. Oh, Creature Bond. Okay, that's that's so fun. This is a card you hardly ever see. So if enchant creatures put in a graveyard, Creature Bond deals um, damage to the creature's controller equal to the toughness. So if this creature dies, then I take four damage, which is bad. But I've got counter magic up, so I should be safe. Let's attack. Now we're going to play the Tim. You know, we're going to play safe. I'm just gonna keep counter magic up. If if like she finds a way to kill the the Sengir, I can protect it with counter magic. That is the big plan. Um, should I counter this fast effects? Oh, I forgot to counter. Okay, that's not smart. Should have chosen to play the counter spell earlier. Um, I am gonna attack though. Oh, wait, I can play Trike, win the game. It's funny how sometimes I am i don't see it, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I can win the game already. Let's do it. Okay, winning. Take the cards. I know that my magic bag is pretty full. Um, I got food. The Warlock. No, 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 I want to play against you. Exactly. I need to beat you, Warlock. Play first. Uh, two islands, time walk, clone, boomerang. Okay, that was pretty decent. Hopefully I'll draw into some more lands. If not, I still got the time walk for an extra turn. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's just keep everything open. Got boomerang. A nice little tempo play, by the way. Let, let me just show that to you because it's fun. Just gonna send back a swamp. So now he's like one land behind, right? Because he already had his land drop and I'm doing it in end step anyway. So it's a nice little tempo uh, trick that you can do. Um, I'm gonna go time walk, hopefully draw into another land so I can play dance and scimitar. Yay, another land. Life is good, Give, bring it on. I just love these decks. Like, he's just playing Throne of Bone main. And he's like, I'm just going to play out both of them. Because I'm the boss. Oh, uh, I'm just going to attack. It's tempting here to start cloning my Scimitar, but I'm not going to do it. Maybe he's going to play out Hypnotic Spectre. I can steal the Spectre and then start cloning that. That would be quite nice. Hmm, Drain Life. Okay, okay. That is an interesting choice. Uh, let's go Tim. Put him on 11. Let's go, people. Taunus is wand. Mm, let's attack again. Okay, so he's on 10. Pass is a turn. I guess I could have maybe cloned to Tim. Let's do that next turn. Let's clone the Tim. Ooh, Merc Dwellers. I think I'm going to steal Merc Dwellers. I have played Merc Dwellers in a zombie deck because it's now an official zombie. So it's kind of nice. So, you know, when you have Zombie Master out and you play Evil Presence and then you give your opponent a swamp and you attack with Merc Dwellers, you like hit for four, which is quite nice. 
And also the zombie master gives the merc dwellers regeneration, so it's really hard for your opponent to get rid of. So, you know, it's a fun thing to do. If you're ever thinking about, you know, building a deck. Yeah, this is really cool, right? He uses the Tannis' one to make the merc dwellers unblockable. It's another nice little combo, I guess. Nice little synergy. Oh, now I can kill the frozen. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Killing the frozen shade. Um, let's attack. So now he's going to take four damage from the dwellers. One from the scimitar is going to go down to three, and I can kill him with the psionic blast. Bye, warlock. Let's take the cards. And now I got to start selling stuff. Ooh. I need a Sarah Angel, right? I think that's the best. Yes. Let's start selling stuff. I'm gonna sell Battering Ram. I'm gonna sell Kula. No, I don't wanna sell, because I could use it in a deck. Oh, it's so hard to sell stuff. I'm really bad at it. Jander's Ring I can sell. That You're never gonna use that. Um, I guess what I need to do, by the way, I need to look at lands, because I've got some lands, I have so many. Like 23 planes, are you ever gonna use that much? Let's sell three of those. Let's sell a couple of these, let's sell five of these. Wait a minute, I've got so many planes, despite the fact that I've got 14 in here. Is that correct? Oh, no, that's not correct. Okay. So it's good to keep an eye on that. Um, what to sell, what to sell. Problem is, I like all these cards. Like, I can see their potential. Even though I'm not playing with them anyway, because you cannot play with everything. But I'm like, well, I can see how they can be useful. Nope, nothing to sell here. Let's have a look. I mean, I can, I can sell the Death Laces. can sell the Ghost of the Damned. I mean, we're not gonna do anything with that. Cool art though, Ghost of the Damned, cool art. Um, yeah, Warp Artifact, let's sell those. I'm not gonna use those. Buy cards, what do you got? Nothing. Um, speak to the wise man. To assist you, I shall strengthen you with two lives in the next duel, nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna go down. I'm still looking for that ring. I think if I found the ring, I think I'm gonna call it a day, but I'm gonna find that ring first. Ooh, Amnesia. Pikeman. Okay, I can I can get these. Yeah, I already have one Amnesia, so let's just sell it. Nexus Forge. Was it supposed to go to the Forge? Not really cards I want to have. Leave the village. Now I gotta go to the Steading. I'm a Nexus Steading. Okay. Why do I have to play against uh, the Warlock again? Because she said, or he said, do you accept tribute for mercy? I said, sure. Mm. Let's go time walk. Dang, nothing. Only lands and a brain geyser. That's not great. Lands and a brain geyser. Mm. 
gonna go Brain Geyser for two. You know, do something with my mana. Okay, that's pretty good. I've got Time Walk, Sound and Blast. Mm, it's gonna play another Time Walk. I really wanna just draw into something useful. Island, oh man. Fast turn. Kind of a non game at the moment, right? At least finding a Sangir so I can start attacking with that. Attack Sangir, go! I actually really want to find this place where I can get that ring and then, you know, continue with my life. Dark Ritual, okay. Um. Let's see if he's gonna block. He is not, okay. No worries. You don't have to block. So I guess I can now steal it with control magic. And win the game. Also could have attacked with both, win it on Psionic Blast. I mean, take the cards. Zephyr Haven, okay, it's not a place where I need to go. Oh, that's cool, Blight, the art on Blight. That's funny. They just gave me a dwarf. Um, but I also saw a Hypnotic Spectre I can use. You know what, I'm also gonna, no, I don't wanna sell the Carrion Ants, they're useful. Cyclopean like, mummies, get gone, get gone. Um, Hypnotic Spectre, where is Hypnotic Spectre? Yeah, let's do that. Take out the Royal. Mm -hmm. Travel south. Okay, so south is down, so now I've got to travel south. I'm just gonna pay 100 gold because I just want to find this ring. Spell from my deck. Sure. What do you have? Uh, let's go for. Ooh, the evil wizard. He needs one more mana. Oh, that's bad. Where is that ring location? Seriously. Oh, God. Which of these spells has a power of two? Bull Lightning, Diabolic Machine, Pegasus, Grey Ogre, the Grey Ogre, yes. Ooh. Wow, I'm really close to his castle. Duel the creature or leave. I'm just gonna leave quietly. I know it's, maybe you're thinking, why are you leaving quietly? Because I wanna find this ring location. Trade black amulets for white cards. Okay, I mean, we still want to have Sarah Angel. Yes, I'll trade. Done. Wait, wait, what did it say? What did it say? Where, 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 where to go? Travel west. I feel like I'm really close to finding the ring and then I can free the village. I mean, it wants me to go from west to east to... Oh, this game can be so annoying sometimes. 
No, I want to pay the gold. Oh, man. I really feel like... I mean, this is really risky, right? Because the Black Wizard is attacking and... Oh, I just want to get that ring. It's so annoying. Let's go Swamp. Let's pass turn. Next turn, play Hypnotic. Of course, counter it away. Go for it. Oh, it's so annoying. Ooh, Segovian Leviathan, that's big. I'm gonna steal that. So my big problem right now is if I continue looking for the ring and the Black Wizard, you know, gets that village, I'm dead. So I think I have to go to that village and save it. I think I have to do that. I think I'm gonna go, I mean, it could boomerang something. Boomerang a land. Pass turn. Mm. Dark Ritual into Sengir. Hmm, counter spell. Unfortunate. Hmm, creature bond. Let's attack. Hmm, I'm gonna pass. Oh wait, I can do Psy Blast and he dies. Why didn't I just play the Psionic Blast before? I'm gonna try it now, but if the Sea Dragon has a counter spell, nope. Take the dungeon clue. I have to duel the Vampire Lord, right? If I wait longer and the Vampire Lord gets the village, then uh, I'm done, you know, the game ends. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, let's have a look. So I've got Ghost Ship, Swamp, Time Walk, Sangy Vampire, Hit P. Okay, that's a pretty good hand. Gonna go Island first, pass turn. Next turn, go Swamp. Mm -mm. Into Time Walk. Into Timmy, passing the turn. Oh man, terror on my Tim. Oh, look at that, three mana vaults. That is pretty cool, he's got big plants. Uh, oh nice, Dark Ritual. I could go Dark Ritual into Sengi here. But I probably should go into Hypnotic because it can start discarding his hand. I know it's a smaller creature, but, you know, he's got all those mana vaults, so I just want to take cards out of his hand before he plays out his entire hand. So, that's my reasoning. Oh, carrion ants. Oh, that's good. That is good. Uh, let me just attack. I'm going to play ghost ship. I think I'm going to give, if he wants to attack, I'm going to give him a hit with the, with the carrying, carrying ants, just because I want to see if he's going to use the, the mana vault. Um, I'm not going to block. Oh, look at that. It's huge. It's seven damage. Wow. Um, let's go strip. I'm going to attack. And now I've got enough mana open to regenerate my ghost ship, so I can just block on the ghost ship. And he's gonna take like three points of damage because of all the mana vaults, so it's pretty sweet. 
If he's in trouble, probably should use the strip mine on one of his swamps, by the way, because then he doesn't have enough lands to, to untap. Should have done that on end step. Doesn't matter that much, do I now? Hmm, what to do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I am gonna strip. It does mean I cannot play out the Modi, but I can still play out the Sengir. Um, and I think I'm gonna attack with this one. Pass the turn. Oh, I should have attacked with the ghost ship as well, of course, because he took the damage from the vault, he would have died. Why am I so bad at playing magic? And I do it so often. It surprises me how many mistakes I make. You know, I've been playing magic for so long. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, take dungeon clue. Travel south. Oh man, I'm just... <sighs> the game today, I'm an existing. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna go. I just don't wanna quit today before I have that ring. I just want that ring. I'm just gonna pay 100 gold because I want that ring. I'm just gonna walk down. I don't care. I just want that ring. Get the ring. Get the ring. Which card do I seek? Um, Sir Angel? Yeah, I'll trade. Oh wait, I can buy stuff here? Oh wow. Um, I want Savannah, I want Thunder Spirits. I can just buy my entire deck here. Okay, sure. I want Crusades. A, B, C, Crusades. Let's buy some Crusades. Yes, I'll trade. Yes, I'll trade. Yes, I'll trade. Um, four Crusades. I want Savannah Lions. Oh no, I'm broke. Okay. Am I getting close? I am getting close. Okay. I mean, this has been another one of these weird Chandelar sessions, right? And I'm sure when you're watching this, you're like, oh, you could have done this better and that better and et cetera, et cetera. And I agree. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I have with this game, but I just have to play it mega inefficiently. I just cannot play it effectively and the way you're supposed to play it or whatever that means. Okay, okay. Almost there, people. Almost got the ring. Got the ring. Got the ring. Can we get out of here? No, insufficient funds, of course, because I just bought every... Okay, wait, I'm going to sell stuff. This game... Oh, I'm dri I guess I'm driving myself nuts, but it's tough. You know what I'm going to do? I've made a decision. I'm just going to sell everything that's red. I'm just going to do it. Because then I have enough space to hold all the cards. I don't have that nuisance anymore and I can buy the ring. Get the ring, get the ring. Sell everything, even the cool Shivan. I'm sorry, but I've sold it. Um, trade white amulets for any enchantments. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Are there any enchantments that I want? Karma, oh yeah, let's buy, yeah, let's go for Karma. That is a good one. Because I'm going into the Black Castle next time. Um, you know what, let me take a screenshot of this because I think the whole thing I want to do, I wanted to do in this episode was get that ring and I've now succeeded. So we're going to buy the ring, pay the gold, get the ring. No, not never. Did I say never mind? I want the ring. Pay the gold. How hard can it be to get this ring? Okay, I'm going to save. Um, join me please next time because then I'm going to go into the wizard's castle. 
yeah, the Black Castle, which is there. So I'm gonna go into the Black Castle because I have all these these um, karmas and good white cards. I'm just gonna build the ultimate white deck. I'm gonna go into the Black Castle and I'm gonna, you know, kick his ass. I think I've got a Northern Paladin as well. So I'm gonna do that next time. So join me again next week. And uh, thank you for being so patient with me here in, uh, in today's episode, because I don't know, my head was just all over the place. But uh, it was intense. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm not gonna save before I forget. Let's save the game. Wait a minute, how do I do that again? Yes, let's save. Save the game. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Way day up she rises, way day up she rises, way day up she rises, her light in the morning. Put him in the long boat until he's sober, put him in the long boat until he's sober, put him in the long boat until he's sober. Somebody can see.